In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to forgive the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to show us the true meaning of love. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, Scripture can find all things under the power of sin, that through faith in Jesus Christ, the promise might be given to those who believe. Before faith came, we were held in custody under law, confined for the faith that was to be revealed. Consequently, the law was our disciplinarian for Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a disciplinarian, <clears throat> for through faith you are all children of God in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free person. There is not male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants, heirs according to the promise. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> the Lord remembers his covenant forever. Sing to him sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds, glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts, that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength and to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God throughout the earth. His judgments prevail.
The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breast at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Blessed is the fruit of the womb that carried you. Wow. The Blessed Mother, Saturday morning. Perfect time to, to talk about her. Hopefully we have meditated upon her more so than just Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully we meditated on the fact that she was a very young woman or perhaps a, a girl who an angel came to her sometime in the night and told her that she's been chosen by God to bear his son to the world. And then of course we have her visitation after she accepts, she says yes to, to the angel. She goes to visit her cousin and she has a few months here to contemplate and to meditate on what exactly happened. What does it mean for her to be the mother of the Son of God? What is her role in salvation? I'm sure she thought about every aspect of faith in the world in those few months that she carried Jesus in her womb. Because if we look at her Magnificat, her wonderful song that we hear from Luke's Gospel during the visitation, we can see that this is a woman who was concerned about the big picture. She was concerned about the politics. She was concerned about the social culture. She was concerned about, about the faith of the people, the direction they were heading, and what needed to be done, what needed to be corrected. Truly, a woman of deep faith, a woman who really contemplated her role meditated on it and came up with all this conclusion and she was a young kid basically by our standards and she was able to come up with that. My sisters and brothers, I invite all of you to be like Mary and to contemplate our role, to contemplate what we're supposed to do in this world for the salvation of everyone, like Mary did. Now we know Mary had some apparitions throughout history some that have been, you know, condoned by the church, some have been not recognized by the church, but the fact remains that she has come back to communicate with us. Why? Because she's still concerned about the social, the political, and the spiritual, and the faithful state of our world, just as we should be. In faith and hope, let us give voice to the prayers we offer to our God. The leaders in the church make Christ the source of their wisdom, strengthen their hearts as they teach God's law in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For parish officials, may the Lord make his presence known to them as they carry out their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from chronic illness, <coughs> may the Lord bring them healing, comfort, and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the Holy Spirit guide us as we work together to make our community a welcoming and loving place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, May they soon enjoy God's embrace, especially Adele Gillespie, whom we remember at this moment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of life, hear the prayers we offer this day in humility and trust. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, the good of all this holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, that through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and with all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. <clears throat> Confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nelson, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, the clergy, and religious everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Elizabeth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power and glory now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. By your grace, be saved with your blood. Amen.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the archangel. <clears throat> Get a haircut? Where? Where? Oh, I've heard of that place. Where? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. It was expensive. Yeah. Over 20 bucks? 25. And it was a long haircut? Yeah, they were really going for it. Just scissors? Oh, no, they had like. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit. Microphone, the sunglasses, the glasses, and the mask. Too much stuff on my Grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to you. O Lord Jesus Christ who have vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who, for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother, have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore. Grant, we beseech you, that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. Memorare, remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, 
but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. Novena Prayer, O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our mortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart, which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, may recover by penance, what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode. For you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you. Everyone wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, so I recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us, so I recourse to you. O Mary, conceived without sin, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Blessed Mother, as we say in the Memorare, please intercede with your son Jesus to heal the following people who are seriously ill. The names I'm going to read to you now are those who are after the uh, yeah, quote of 19. And uh, the first name is Kathy. We have eight Jims. We have Henry, Shirley, two Nancys, Jeff, Mary Lynn, Marta, four Mary Beths, Mike, two Bridgets, Linda, Charlotte, Bill, two Michaels, two Rachels, two Connies, Fred, baby Kaler, baby Evan, baby Bennett, 
and Baby Nova. Susan, Patricia, two Anns, Tim, Mario, Barry, Janet, two, Philomena, Leon, Dave, Jay, Dennis, Walter, Anita, Paige, Norman, Lou, a man, Deirdre, Anita, Vic, Tony, Patrick, Andrew, Corey, two Franks, Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, and Brian, B-R-I-A-N. Jesse, Randy, Helen, Loretta, Teresa, two Bobs, two Johns, two Michaels, Gabby, two Claires, Gabrielle, Mary, Rosie, Ann, three Joes, two Dans, two Ellens, Taylor, Christopher, Candace, Bill, Dorothy, Kathy, Elaine, Charlotte, Barbara Jane, Pat, Tori, Mark, Crystal, Jess, Drew, and Elizabeth. Now these following names are prior to the, uh, the problem that we had here with the uh, so many deaths. These names are the names that were prior to COVID-19. Rosemary, Henry, Linda, Joanne, Kevin, Leah, two Dawns, Gary, David, Marlene, Frank, John Joseph, Paula, two Donnas, Piero, Nancy, Jeff, Sophia, Barbara, Patricia, Anne Marie, Keenan, Jason, Cheryl, Debbie, two Cathy's, Olivia, Sue, two Roberts, Dottie, Mary, Kathleen, Emily, Reagan, Catherine, Sean Patrick, Shelby, Todd, Abigail, Paul, Terry, Betty, two Lauras, Janet, Johnny, Heather, Randall, Stephen, John, Mary Ann, and Mary M. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.